Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XGNR Protein X. In this tutorial video, we're going to talk about how to normalize Western blood bands. So let's begin. So here is the Western, Western blood membrane, and here is the control. There is the test control, and there are the two different concentrations of the drug: five microgram and the ten microgram. And the lower one is the GPDH. All right. So I want to analyze. Um, I want to normalize the bands, the first three bands. All right. And here I already made the table. So after getting the value, I need to write here for better understanding. So here, first the step one, we need to normalize to loading control. So loading control is is the GPD is here. So whatever you use the beta actin tubulin, so you need to use the same formula. All right. So step one is the intensity of the protein band and divided by intensity of the loading controls band. All right. So, and then the step two, step two is the normalize to test control. So after getting the normalize to loading control, you will get the normalization value, and that normalization value you need to use to normalize to test control. So here you need to put the normalization value of the protein band divided by normalization value of the test controls band. All right. So all of the proteins band, including control group, you need to put one by one, and then you need to divide with the test controls band. So let's begin. So here I need to. So first, I want to go to the image J. So here, I want to open the band. So here is the Western blood membrane that I want to analyze. So here, the first one, the rectangular tool, you need to select, and then. So here, I want to only use first three bands. So here, and then, control one and control three. So after pressing the control three, you will get this window. So this is the band intensity, different peak of these bands. So after that, you need to make sure that uh, this this tool it's selected to segment at uh, this peak. All right. So then you need to segment by this way, and then after select the one tool. To get the value, so you need to select, you need to click one by one. Then you will get the value, this one and this one, right? So I already got three different value. So these values are for the proteins band, right? So I need to copy these values and I need to put it here. So these are the protein bands. So I'll put it here. So here is the three different protein uh, bands intensity, and also I need to put here in the Excel file. Already put it here, but I need to make another one. All right. So these are the protein bands intensity. So next, next I need to go for the GPTH bands intensity, right? So again, I need to select. Uh, this tool, the rectangular tool, and then select all of the bands that you want to get the intensity, and then Control One, press Control One, and then Control Three. So, and then after that, this uh, tool to segment. So here. I want to get uh, these three values. All right. So here I already got these values. So then copy. So these remember that these are the GPT's band intensity value. So I want to copy. I want to paste here. I 
and also I want to paste in Excel file as well. So here the two different um, so protein bands and GPDs band I already got here. So next I need to normalize, right? So the formula is here that I to, that I already mentioned that uh, the intensity of the proteins band and the intensity of the loading controls band. So one by one I need to calculate. So here the first the protein bands divided by the GPDs band. So we'll get the the, the normalization value. And next this one and this one all right next this one this one so i already got uh, the normalization value of these uh, three bands this bands so copy from here so paste here So you see here the three normalization value for the three corresponding bands. So for first band, the control one, the first one, the second one is a five microgram for this one, the second value, and the third one is for this third band, right? So next I need to do the to normalize to test control. So I need to divide these values divided by the test control normalization value. So what I need to do, I need to do, so here you can see, um, so again, let's go to the Excel file. So here I need to write normalize, normalize to test control. So here I, so this value, this value I need to the same value I need to put this value and divided it by also the same value right because this is the control so I need to divide I need to um, divide the all of the protein bands divided by the control control value so here is one the next one should be this one divided by the control this this one this one and divided by the control one so remember that so this value is a control this is the first one is a control so after that i got this value and this value you need to put to get the graph right so here is a graphite prism but uh, I need to write here is a control and then the 5 microgram and 10 microgram okay so this value is for the con this value is for control this value is for 5 microgram and this value is for 10 microgram right so you can uh, one once once more you can see here the one two and three so these three bands are first one is the for control second one for the five microgram and third one is for the 10 microgram so i need to put the value respectively so here so only one repeat i did here but for getting the uh, statistical analysis you need to have three different uh, repeat right so after that you will get the three different values and you will put it here in the graph pad prism and you will get the the uh, so here so here is only one value 
So after getting the three different repeat, then you need to get the three different values and you'll put it here and then you'll get the graph along with the statistical analysis. So for example, for, but for the control group, you should, this is always should be one. And for, let's assume that uh, just for, for example, just um, I want to show the graph and the analysis and the statistical analysis report. So just let's assume that uh, it's, it is 0 0.95678 and, and another value is the 0 0.9012 and for this one 0 0.8123 0 0.80123 okay so here let's see the graph okay so after after putting those, those values in the graph at piso so we will get automatically the graph so here you can see so here I need to just a little bit I need to modify here so take a look here it. So, okay. So here you can see that uh, the control five microgram and ten microgram are uh, three different bands. So to analyze the t test, you can check here in the column analysis and t test. So control and five microgram first. Okay and then unpaired and then okay so you see here uh, this is the significant and then another one so from so the compared to the control group to the pipe microgram it is it is a uh, significant so again another from control uh, the control to the 10 microgram t test okay so here unpaired so this is also also significant so here you can see that uh, uh, this both uh, 5 microgram and 10 microgram both are significant compared to the control group all right so this is all about um, the normalization of this uh, western blood bands so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks for watching